on the red side. And it's still going to be the Fanny Ban here for Team Nyx. They really don't want the Fanny to be in their uh, in the land of dawn for this matter. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, they don't want to see LeBron. I mean, imagine Man, LeBron on that Fanny. He's bad. already insane on that Lancelot. The Fanny's going to be unstoppable, right? <laughs> Micro God LeBron. Just going to freestyle everybody if he uh, if he uh, gets a fanny there. Um, Beatrix is going to be banned out surprisingly by Palag Palag. Oh. That's a... Well, Beatrix wasn't as uh, impactful in, well, in the last I think it's just a, the, the sort of the potential of the hero, right? So you want to make sure that uh, you, you don't want anything that goes against your composition that you're drafting about. So pretty straightforward ban. I, I think it's a good ban. It's, it's a solid ban. It's not the ban, but what's more solid here is I want to see the Lancelot ban. You don't want to give that to LeBron at the very least. The also, the Matilda. Team is Honestly, oh, yeah. K Bear, he played really well. Yeah, um, not gonna lie. Guiding Wind wasn't used as much, but Ultimate was <laughs> being thrown together with the Ensemble Force and the Ejector from that uh, Jawhead. This really uh, allowed them to get multiple pickoffs off of that. I, I think it's not really the guiding wins, but it's more towards the fact that the early game he was everywhere, right? You remember, it's just like going up, going down, oh, man. It was just crazy. The pressure really enabled, um, you know, Palan Palan to have that smooth mid game and just take over. Yeah. And that is. If Nyx picks up a Natalia, I think that would at least help them out in the rotation aspect just to uh, get a little bit more information in the jungle. Make sure that they're all safe, but they're oh. gonna be locking the jaw heads first. <laughs> all right, I like their this. Own medicine. Yeah, they're like, you know what? But we'll give her. Ow, it's no, they think it's Eudora instead. Oh, we forgot about the Eudora. Oh, the you're Eudora right. is open. I'm ready. I'm re Are you ready? <laughs> I'm uh, honestly, I'm not ready to see how broken Eudora is. But Looks like you the know. land of dawn is uh, about to get some new weather forecast. A lot of lightning. <laughs> gonna come out soon. <laughs> Thunderstorms and lightning, very, very frightening. Oh! Hey, don't quote, as, don't quote Nomad, he's not a rapper. <laughs> I'm not a rapper, I'm not a rapper. As I say that, we get the Jawhead uh, hover over the Layla. Okay, I think Jawhead's just a no brainer, right? Layla, if they yeah. pick it, res respect, but I don't think they're gonna lock that in. Uh, I, I do suspect something else. Oh! It oh, oh, I love thought. It. Love it. Love it. I thought it was going to be the jungle. Your uh, the jungle Aldus. I thought so I too. Was but ready. It's our show you, you can't. You can't really go about it. But I like the link early on. Looks like the Claude locked in. Gonna be the Claude jungle this time for Nick. So maybe that's uh, that was the reason why Palang Palang picked the Claude so early in game one because it was maybe a, a comfort pick uh, from team uh, from Nick's. Yeah, um, at least he stole away a hero here on the side of Palag Palag. They could go for a side laner here. Or they can secure the tank for themselves, get the Kufra. Uh, I think they, they should go for the tank, but nope. They go for the Lunox. Honestly speaking, the Lunox pick was pretty solid, right? Lunox was one of the heroes yeah, yeah. that did quite a lot of you know impact into the game. A lot of impact, and was actually scaling really well compared to Nyx himself on that Roger, so... Uh, this, this is just uh, one of their insurance policies here, 100% sure. Now, on the side of Palag Palag, side lane as well, secure that for themselves. Battle for the tank, that's uh, what I'm saying. I, I think what they're gonna, oh, I, I love this. It's the classic dead. combo. It's, Angela. this is, you can just see this as a pro league game, man. Like, <laughs> these picks are just so coordinated. It makes so much sense. The Angela Link, a classic. Very, very classic. Uh, the I forgot what it's called, but we have a saying where the Angelin combo is a nice one, baby Your strategy. Is banning. The Kufra is still gonna be uh, banned out. I like, I like that you guys have nicknames for everything. It's much more flavorful and much more delightful that way. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's just how flavorful we are here in the uh, Philippines, at the very least. At the very least. Okay, now they do take a Kufra away again, the same band. Looks like they, they're really afraid of the Kufra, and of course, Kufra are quite a natural counter to Link, right? The bouncing void sort of stops it from just flying around. A good band overall, and also the... the, the I think it's the combo uh, 
effectiveness of the Eudora. You don't want her to have a, a, a tank partner that has a lot of CC. Your team is yeah, that's true. And that's the Esmeralda being banned out as well for Nyx. They're hovering over the Gushin. It's been a while. Oh, that's a Hayabusa. Okay. Your team is I, I like the Hayabusa. Yeah, so, so the thing is that with this Hayabusa pick, you're sort of forcing uh, Nyx to put this Claude in the jungle because Claude against Hayabusa on the lane is just not going to have a good time whatsoever, right? I mean, the Hayabusa is just going to have so much Q pressure, you're going to force this uh, this you know, Nyx to pick a different uh, side laner now. And that is a question. Poquito is open. Uh, could go up against the uh, Hayabusa, I think. Looks like you're, you're being very really spot on today, no man. I'm gonna trust you in everything, <laughs> just just for today, not not for anything else. <laughs> not for anything else. All right, all right, I'll take note of that. But yeah, the Paquito is <laughs> decent. It's a decent uh, matchup against the Hayabusa. I mean, Hayabusa can still win over the Paquito. Oh no, it's a Popo and Koopa. You want to change yeah, it up? Yeah, the Popo. Yeah. Ooh. And the Franco. No. Uh, they, 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 just they, they do take the the, the, the the Franco. So I expect to see this uh, level my, one my uh, invade into the purple here? buff. All right. Okay. So all the side lanes are annoying. The least it's a this... Gushin and uh, Hayabusa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you, Nomad. This is gonna go one of two ways. It's all either right. gonna go, it's gonna go zero to hundred for Falang for Lang or hundred to zero. What I mean, it's gonna go super good or super bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If they get the advantage, if they get the advantage, it's just gonna be. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna just gonna put my phone, it's gonna be gone. But if they lose out in the early game, Nyx is just gonna have a steamroll over time. That's true. A double edged sword here for the lineup of uh, Palag Palag. Nyx looking uh, very comfortable with their lineup now. It's a, a well rounded lineup for Nyx compared to what they uh, had in game number one. But as like what you said, Matthew, it's all about how Palag Palag is gonna be playing the early game. Yep, well, that's enough talk. Let's go into the game itself. On the side of Team Nix, we have Chirizawa on this Eudora bobbling on that claw. Nix on the beautiful Lunox boss chill. This time on the Manic Pakia himself, which is Kido and Iroda on that Franco. And Bobo Gamer, we got the Jawhead. LeBron has the link. Hey, Bear with the. With the, uh, Angela? Not the Alice. With the Angela, I said to Alice, I don't know why. King Jasper on the high I forgot to make it on the Gushin. Thanks for you. catching me there. As I say <laughs> that, this is the aggression the Bobong Gamer wants, and Boss Chill and Bobling are not going to get oblige him at all. Yep, it looks like he should be able to just secure this because that's of the retribution. I think uh, what the Franco did was just actually just going to go there. Oh, wow. Ooh. Really, really aggressive. Yo, oh, Jerry, that was this. Yo, this is our jungle. Okay, please, please kindly step away, sir. Please, some social distancing from my jungle, please. Thank you. <laughs> Not, uh, don't come within six feet of our jungle, please. Thank you very much. Yes, please, please respect uh, this, the Land of Dorns uh, policy. <laughs> That's true. And I hope every single one of you guys that are watching right now are all safe. Y'all are in your homes. All healthy. And stay hydrated as well, guys. Take care of your health. Make sure you drink, drink a lot of water. It's really, really important. Oh, let's go back into this game though. This time around, Nick's having a really solid early game. They're really protecting uh, this Claude. You can see, they're just hopping around, making sure he gets the buffs. The main thing here is that they cannot lose this first fight here. No man, they need to be careful. <laughs> need to be careful. LeBron is just lying in wait in this oh, rush. Oh, 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 dives oh, in. Go for the blazing duet. Catches three. But then Heraldo's going to be forced to back off. There comes the Pepper the Blades. Gets a knockup. Gets a first blood. King Jasro takes him down. <laughs> And that's also a trade on to Heraldo. Zero for two trade for now in favor of Palag Palag. The most unfortunate thing happened right there, right? Battle mirror image into the brush with a waiting link. No cooldowns to escape and he just had to eat the front of it. He ma almost managed to walk away, but just slightly, slightly enough damage for Palag Palag to finish off the kill. And now they even pick up another one in the mid lane. And they're not giving him a good time. This is the uh, 0 to 100 that you're talking about, Matthew. <laughs> they're having right, a good look, time here. Uh, they're flipping the coin. It's coming up hates every single time. They're going for it. Sort of, remember, the Q pressure from this Palam Palam squad is just insane. Everybody can go to the back line just like that, right? Even the Jawhead. Look at that. Momon Gamer. He can just go for it. Put the amount of pressure. Whoa, Boss Chill. He's actually pushing him into the 
Chris, a little bit of a mistake, I would say, but it looks like they want to go for the fight. Here comes the hard yeah. guy onto LeBron. He needs to walk away here. Looks like he will be able to back off, but a little bit of a, uh, I would say, you know, uh, uh, trigger finger too fast from Bobo Gamer. I think Bobo Gamer wanted the entire team to really go for the fight as the knockout punch knocks out Bobo, uh, Bobo Gamer there with a uh, beautiful haymaker setback, Dempsey roll. But yeah, they, they wanted to try to burst out Pakita there to get the advantage over here to Turtle. I can respect that. They didn't have enough damage. As I say that, King Jastro in the top lane against Nyx will make it out alive. This Turtle might be oh. stolen away <laughs> by LeBron! Oh my god, he's, and he's staying alive though. He does actually go down. The, the Blazing Duet will come in the unstoppable force all the way to the end zone with the ejector. What HP? He's, he's gonna walk away from this. I do not believe it! He manages to stay alive, but across the map, Haya gets a solo kill. Amazing amount of action. This is just cross map play all over, Nomad. And now the 100 to zero might happen uh, for it's, Palag. It's Palag. Sort of, uh, I mean, it is. It, it's just 100 percent. The action just keeps on going and going and going. That's it's true. Stopping. The Thunderstruck will come in. Bobo Gamer will go down. Boss Chill. I have to say, doing really well. He's 4-0-0, zero and, zero, and he just picked up the Bliss Last Act, so he's gonna be able to sustain and do so much in his fights. And he will uh, pick up the slack if ever Bopling does. Uh, decide to, you know, I'm not gonna be much of a person here for now. I'm, I'm gonna wait for my Demon Hunter Sword Golden Staff before I uh, go into the fight. Speaking of Demon Hunter Sword, it will finally be picked up by LeBron on this Ling. So that's, uh, that's a huge boost. As I say that, they're gonna go for Forgotten Magus here. LeBron's in position to go ahead and try to go for a fight against Boss Chill. Ford Spike's uh, not gonna be thrown by Forgotten Magus to go for a trade. He's gonna be forced to back off. LeBron's diving in. Dives oh, down, goes for you. a 1v1 here, goes for the Tempest of Blades, gets the knockup, and should be able to take him down, question mark. But the damage no, out no. from the Boss Chill is still there, can duel it. <laughs> he hurts. That is, that was really, really close. Boss Chill really showing a really uh, strong hero mastery on it. Paquito understanding what to do. Here comes the Flicker. Immediately a hard cut coming in King Castro. Now he knows the sun is down. He wants to go for it. He does use the OG shadow kill. Gets one kill. The Eudora is down. Now they have the advantage of this fight. The Ludox is the next target. They need to focus on Ludox doing so much damage. The the quad shadow just dancing around juggling through the shadow. Now but they do take the Ludox. Big, big win. Palang, Palang in this team fight. One for two trade. I uh, one for four. One for two trade in the top lane. That's four members down inside of Nyx. Palag Palag is trying to regain the uh, momentum that they sort of lost. And the uh, three four minute mark, we have only a two thousand gold lead from themselves, but they have superior map control here as they uh, yeah. are finally uh, sieging up the tier two inhibitor, the tier two turret in the top lane. Now, this is what Nomad. Uh, sorry, no man, this is what they would need to do, right? For Nyx to win, they need to have this team fight, right? Where Boss Chill just flanks the whole team from behind. Because if he can get into that position, he will just plug so much damage and so much disruption. But Boss Chill getting ganked to the top lane. Ooh, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. But meanwhile, the bot lane, Irado, will he get the ultimate down? Nope, here comes the Luigi Shadow Q. They do actually go in King Jastro trying to run. Can he get away? Oh, nope, the answer. Get sniped out by the Claude. But LeBron's here. They have no oh, idea that LeBron's again. here. Not again, they have no, no man. idea. We'll go for not the seal. Again. LeBron's gonna go for the seal here, no doubt. Retribution, oh! the seal, and run away like a smooth criminal in the night, LeBron. And TP's no! on top of the wall Wait. to assert dominance. You know, he just needed to click two buttons and he just got thorough, right? He says, thank you very much. Just, you know, blade. Red Tree, thank you so much. Nyx needs to be careful. I don't think he has the lightning anymore. He will have to flicker out oh, one more auto attack. That's gonna be the kill. Uh, trade for Bubble Gaming there, but that's perfectly fine. Meanwhile, Forgot Omega's in the top lane. Will uh, be uh, zoned out by three members here. Blazing Away gonna be thrown out. Forgot Omega does not have the sword spike. He already used the incandescence to uh, make it out alive for himself, but that is turrets going down on Nyx's side. I think it's a good sort of aspect for them to actually move around here. They do, you know, at least they're buying a lot of time from the side of a Forgotten Magnus. He's buying a lot of map pressure and buying a lot of space. Meanwhile, ooh, King Jastro, can he get away? He doesn't have the Quad Shadow anymore. He's just, just gonna pray. He does have the ultimate to buy a little bit more time, but not gonna even expand that. He knows he's gonna go down. 
does get another kill here. Nyx, this this time at least they're they're showing a lot more grit and a lot more firepower. Yeah, this is a lot better. Uh, comp this is a lot better showing from Nyx compared to game number one. Uh, they do have a lot of the synergies. And speaking of which, the Iron Hook just allows Bubble Gamer to be you know I'm right next to the rest of the next lineup, and that's him going down. Top lane though, there is a little bit of a scuffle there. And we're seeing Forgotten Magus really just have a hard time against Boss. You don't say, say that, here comes the Heart Guard. They'll be able to take him down, no doubt. Solo kill. Really clean micro coming in. But I like this play from Nyx. They know that, hey, they're com coming in on the top lane. Let's just push this bottom lane instead. They do get it. They do still have that Siege minion. King Jastro just lingering around, looking if he can find any strength. Because Bobo and Gamer now coming out for help. They're going for the flank. They want to go for the spike. They need to kill them. But the stun onto the tire boost. He needs to back away. He goes down. He goes down. He didn't get his ultimate off in time. But now, look at your minimap. Ling coming in, looking for stragglers once again. Yeah, he is in a uh, prime position. Uh, Jawhead actually uh, went for the unstoppable force. Didn't go for the ejection. LeBron's in prime position. Dives in against Cherizawa. The Tempest of Blades is available. We'll not be using it just yet. Dawn attack is more than enough. We'll go for Heraldo here as Bobbling takes out Forgotten Magnus. The ejector connects onto Heraldo and oh, they're just peeping no. right in front of him. Hey, let's have a oh. quick chat here, guys. Is, How is you guys doing? The, is this what we call the uh, brand special? Is that is that your nickname for <laughs> That is the uh, Brent special. Yuji was uh, part of the team that uh, started off that uh, that trend, supposedly. All right, they were spamming. Right, it. it was like, let's let's talk. Let's talk here. Uh, I just, just, have, just have a good time. Good time. But you know what? What's even better is this Lord finally being opened up into the map. They do know the top is being pushed out, but they have the confidence. But however, look at the look at the mini map. They might contest for this. No, it's a free Lord. They're not going to contest for it. Top lane uh, tier 2 turret will fall down onto Palag Palag. But it doesn't matter. All of the lanes are, except for the top lane, are pushed towards the favor of Palag Palag. They're all pushing forward. So they need to just equalize the lane push in the top lane. They should be able to close out the game in the next five minutes or so. Yep. Good. I like I like Bobon Gamer. Uh, you know, he's opening up the map, looking out for uh, for, for pick, pick offs, but Geraldo on this Franco. Oh no! Oh, Oh, bursted! No, no, no words can explain what just happened. <laughs> That's why you never face check a brush or never go alone if you're a Claude. If yeah, you're not yeah, sure I mean, where it, the enemy is. It's, it's just a little bit unfortunate because he needs to go for that purple buff himself to open up the map. But, you know, just unfortunate. But this is just really good positioning coming out from the Jawhead instead. And yeah, we gotta we gotta commend Bobo and Gamer now. As I say that, Shadow Mask, go for the ejection of the Ronaldo, they will burst him out. And he managed to flicker out. There goes the uh the uh, sword spike connects on the fork forgotten Magnus, oh. but this is Terizawa and the rest of Nick's trying to defend this as much as they can. King Jazz over the shadow kill secures the triple kill off of himself. Bobo and Gamer and Forgotten Magus will try to fight the final boss here, which is boss chill. But it turns her down and he has to defend us and he can fight this 1v2. Come on, round one, round one! Paquito was the side Let's go, let's go! Oh, come on. He, he backs yeah, away. He goes back to his corner. He's, he's not fancying a boxing fight, man. But now, man, he wants to call Magnus. An assassin versus a boxer. Who's gonna win? Oh, oh, he's oh it's oh, a 3v1 no. now right now, but boss chill. We'll get the brunt of that shadow. Come for God Magus with the sword spike. Wipes him out. No, it's just cruel and unfortunate punishment for boss chill. He was trying his best, and to be honest, he at least managed to uh, get this, you know, clear out the other minions, you know, doing a really good job, buying a lot of time. So that's that's all you can really ask for. And, you know, if he managed to get an, an extra kill, that would have been an extra bonus. Should have been an extra bonus, yeah. Uh, Should have bought them a lot of time. But speaking of buying time, that's what Nyx wants to do right now. All the lanes are open. It's just the base here for Nyx that's standing strong. And they need to make sure that they have that one good team fight in order to turn the tables here in this game. Okay, look at look at the itemization, right? The Claude already has the Warx, Demon Hunter Sword, and he actually goes for Chorus' side instead of going to stuff. So a little bit different itemization, but this means that he should be able doing, to do a lot of damage. So, honestly speaking, Nyx, if they find a good opening, if they find a good angle, they will be able, and they do have the items to win those teamfights. That's true. I feel like they should be 
uh, baiting out the heart guard at the very least, and that's uh, that's going to be the survivability out of the window here. Oh. But speaking of heart guard, that's already the heart guard of Forgotten Magus. They are diving in as well. Gets suppressed, gets hooked. King Jastro is down, gets the ejection on the boss chill. Bubble Gamer will fall in the process, and next they're winning the oh. team fight. Meanwhile, Bob Blake just oversaying as well, coming to back lines, trying to take out Gushin in the process. But the damage is not just there, but they still managed to win that fight. I told you, Nomad, they have the damage, they have the optimization to win. <laughs> a new word being a uh, here, but oh, LeBron being, needs to be careful. Does she go in here? But yeah, it's the Eudora phobia. I have it too. King Jastro, you're not alone. It's a very real disease, you know? Tons of ML players suffer from this disease. Have you heard of it, Nomad? <laughs> uh, uh, I have heard from it. I have. Yes, uh, I I have pers uh, personally experienced it. So. Yes, I think uh, the the recent research shows that nine out of ten ML players suffer from this phobia. Uh, the true. phobia of walking into any brush. Please, if you do have this, call to the helpline. <laughs> Get some help. Get call some your help. local support uh, hotline. <laughs> but now <laughs> this is exactly what they need: the Lord to actually win the game. That's true. That's all they need. If Nyx can't go for the seal, which is unlikely, they could uh, even uh, even everything out. But that is a Luminous Lord that's going to be marching in shortly over the mid lane. And Nyx, they have to push out the lanes. They have to thin down the minion waves. They have to buy a lot of time for uh, themselves against this. If they can get a good pick off here, and they bait out the heart guard oh, as well. Yeah, that's, that's good. Pretty pick now. Remember, the itemization is huge on this plot already. They have a lot of damage onto this team fight. They just need to find the perfect angle. Yes, it's gonna be hard, but they have the tools for it. They just need to fight for the perfect. But no, the blitz is being used. The blitz is being used. So that's a big one. Now they're going in for this nomad. Oh no, they they get the lord down as well. The base is already down to half HP. Shadow kill is gonna be thrown down quite shortly, and they're. Uh, the minion, barely the minion, surviving. The minion. the minion waves are being focused down by Nyx, but it's. Not oh. enough! But I was gonna secure a 2 0 victory for themselves. Oh, that was close. A really valid attempt. I have to say, if you if, if I were to get a chance to give the, the MVP, I would give it to Boss Chill. He played super well. It's just a little bit unfortunate he couldn't really.